Australia is known for its unique and diverse wildlife, with many fascinating animals found nowhere else in the world. From the adorable koalas to the mighty kangaroos, these animals have developed unique behaviors and adaptations to help them survive in the harsh and often unpredictable Australian landscape. One of the most fascinating aspects of these animals is their mating behaviors, which have evolved to ensure the survival of their species. Without further ado, let's get started. Kangaroo mating. Male kangaroos often fight for the right to mate with a female kangaroo. These fights can be brutal, with the males boxing each other with their powerful hind legs and occasionally biting each other with their sharp teeth. The fights are usually only a few minutes long and typically end when one of the males retreats. The male with the strongest odor usually wins the fight and has a greater chance of attracting a mate. The winner then proceeds to mate with the female. Once a male has successfully mated, he will move on to find another mate. The female kangaroo will typically give birth to one joey per year. Interestingly, female kangaroos can delay the development of a fertilized egg for several months until conditions are optimal for birth. This allows them to time the birth of their young to coincide with favorable abundant food and water. Koala mating <coughs> Koalas may seem cute and cuddly, but their mating behavior is anything but romantic. Female koalas have a tough time during mating season, as they are often pursued relentlessly by male koalas. These males will follow the females around and emit a loud, bellowing call to let other males know that the female is taken. But the competition doesn't stop there. Male koalas will also engage in fierce battles with each other, using their sharp claws and teeth to defend their territory and mating rights. Once a male koala wins the right to mate with a female, the actual mating process is brief and uneventful. It lasts only a few seconds and is usually initiated by the female. Interestingly, koalas have a bifurcated reproductive system, meaning that females have two separate uteri and two vaginas. This allows them to produce two different types of milk for their young, one high in protein and the other high in fat. Redback Spider Mating Male Australian redback spiders essentially sacrifice themselves after mating with a female. During copulation, males purposely position their abdomens near the female's mouth, even though they are aware that she will most likely consume them. Only around 30% of male redback spiders survive their first mating. Most males do not survive their first time mating as they have a short lifespan and are likely to die or get eaten by a predator before making it to another female's web. The female is often more than 100 times bigger than the male. Despite this vast size difference between males and females, the mating process is still successful. During copulation, the male redback spider will climb onto the female's web and use his pedipalps to transfer sperm to her reproductive organs. Despite the risks involved, male redback spiders continue to mate with their much larger counterparts, ensuring the survival of their species. Peacock Spider Mating The male peacock spider's courtship dance is a matter of life and death. If the female spider dislikes the male, she may quickly shake her abdomen or attack and eat him up, making courtship a dangerous affair for the suitor. However, in order to mate successfully, the male must perform an intricate dance using a brilliantly colored fan attached to his abdomen. Male jumping spiders are not very selective and will attempt to court any female they come across, even if she's a different species. The female signals her approval or disapproval by turning towards or away from the male. If the female approves of the male's dance, he may be allowed to mate, but if she isn't impressed, the male will become her next meal. This high-stakes courtship ritual is a fascinating example of the lengths that animals will go to in order to reproduce and pass on their genes. Prairie Dog Mating During the mating season, male prairie dogs will compete for the attention of females by performing a series of elaborate displays, such as jumping and chasing. Once a female chooses a mate, they will engage in a brief courtship ritual before copulation occurs. Interestingly, female prairie dogs are known to be quite promiscuous and will often mate with multiple males during the breeding season. 
This behavior is thought to increase genetic diversity and improve the chances of offspring survival. Prairie dogs live in social groups called coteries or clans. These groups contain one or two dominant males, a number of yearling males, and a majority of females. All of these members are related except for the dominant male, who would have been born in another territory and dispersed. They are known for their adorable appearance and distinctive vocalizations. Antichinus mating Sex can be a life-giving force, but for the male Antichinus, it's a deadly one. These small creatures engage in intense mating sessions that last for up to 14 hours straight. And while this may sound like a dream come true for some males of the human species, for the Antichinus, it's a fatal endeavor. These tiny creatures spend the majority of their adult lives in search of sexual partners. During mating season, they mate with as many females as they can find often engaging in sexual activity for hours at a time, without any breaks for rest or food. The male Antichinus may be willing to sacrifice his own life for the chance to pass on his genes, but for humans, the consequences of such extreme sexual behavior can be devastating. It's a reminder that while nature can be beautiful and awe-inspiring, it can also be brutal and unforgiving. Honeybee Mating Mating in the animal kingdom can often be a life or death affair. Honeybee males get to mate with the queen only once before they die. When the queen bee emerges from her hive in search of mating partners, drones will swarm around her hoping for a chance to mate. The fastest and bravest drones will be the ones to mount the queen mid-air and mate with her. However, the cost of this act is steep. Once a drone ejaculates, his testicles will explode and his endophallus will be left behind inside the queen. The drone then falls to the ground and dies. One would think that the other drones would learn from their brother's fates, but the competition is fierce and the next drone will take out the endophallus left by the previous drone and attempt to mate with the queen himself. This cycle continues until the queen has mated with as many drones as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.